Well, a happy Tuesday to you. I'm excited for you today, and I'm believing today's going to be a great day. You know, the kingdom of God is like a treasure hidden in a field, and God hides a great thing behind a common thing. Now, if you really get into a field, thinking about a field, what is a field? Well, a field doesn't really excite other people. You know, a lot of people, uh, uh, unless it's really pricey land, and then that might get you excited. But a field is really nothing more than just a bunch of dirt. But if you get into a treasure, what, what is a treasure? Well, when someone finds a treasure, they find something that is no doubt miraculous. It's something spiritual. It's something great. Dirt, on the other hand, is kind of, eh, you know, it's just dirt, right? Well, here's a thought for you as you go into this great Tuesday. God takes the, some of the mer- most miraculous and powerful things and sometimes hides it underneath stuff that's just unpleasant. You see, God has a way of letting the desirable things and the undesirable things come in the same category. He allows it many times to come in the same package. And sometimes we have a hard time really recognizing the treasure in things, okay? So, for example, he says, you know, let the wheat and the tares grow together. Well, if you're like me, you don't need any tares. Uh, You would wish you didn't have to deal with that. I love wheat. And we all like wheat, but nobody really likes tares. But Jesus said this. He said, they've got to grow together. Now, you can't get the great thing even about Tony unless you're willing to love the not so great things about Tony. And the same is when people look at your life. Thank God that people have learned to take the good and the bad or nobody would have any friends, right? Well, even the Ark of the Covenant, such a powerful, miraculous thing, is something that housed the very presence of God. Did you know it was hidden behind animal skins? God himself even wrapped Jesus in swaddling clothes and had him laid in a manger. Think about old David. Everybody loves David. David, the man of God, David, the warrior, David who wrote so many of the Psalms that we enjoy today. David, this leader and man of God that he was, was tucked inside a shepherd boy. Jesus, the Bible said, there was nothing about him to look upon. In other words, he was just like every other normal guy. There was nothing about him that really set him apart. In fact, they didn't even know who to arrest, the the Roman soldiers, when they went into the garden. And and Judas looks at them and he said, you'll know who to arrest by who I kiss. And he said, that'll be the one. Take him, arrest him. That'll be how I point him out. He looked like everybody else. So I tell you that, as you go into this Tuesday, because I want you to understand that just because people come up to you in your life today and and people you run into in your life, you may feel like, you know, what significance does does this person have? What, uh, I mean, they, they may not be important to you. You may feel like that they're wasting your time. Um, I just want to, you to think about this. Don't miss the moment of recognizing the possibility of treasure being in that person. Because everybody around you has got something in them that will bless you and honor you. And the way you get it out of that person is to honor them. Think about it. Honoring others will cause the kingdom of God to come alive in your life. I love you and may God bless you. See you tomorrow.